Okay, this is one of those circuits that when you just wave your hand in front of the circuit within about two inches of it, what will happen, it will trigger a relay to activate for a preset time. Just like the circuits that you see when you go into a public restroom where you wave your hand in front of the blower or the faucet and it activates the blower or the faucet for preset duration. Now what this uses are two 555 integrated circuits. Now if you don't want to use two of these, you could use a 556 which is two 555's incorporated into one chip. The only difference is you're going to have to uh, change the pinout because the pinout is not going to match. So just pull up a diagram of a 556 and adjust these pins to the 556 and those pins. Now this uses an infrared receiver module and it uses an infrared LED. How this works, the infrared LED is beaming a signal out which when your hand passes over it, that light, the infrared light, reflects back into the IR module triggering the relay to activate. Now this circuit runs on 5 volts but I wanted to run it on anything up to 15 or higher so I just put a LM7805 with a capacitor on the input and the output side. This circuit calls for a 2.2 meg uh, potentiometer. I only had a 1 meg and with that 1 meg I'm able to run from 1 second to 2.5 minutes if you'd like more runtime out of this, then all you'd have to do is change the value from 100 and make it higher. You can make it like 1,000. It would run a long, long time, several minutes. And if you adjust this to a really high value, you could probably get an hour or more out of this. So just play with the values of play with the values of VR2, which is right there, and C5. Increase either one or both to get more runtime. So if there's anything you'd like to activate by just a wave of a hand, this is the circuit that you're going to want to use. I'll demonstrate right now. The red LED is on indicating power to the circuit and the relay contacts are open. So I'm going to wave my hand over it and the continuity alarm will come on. There you go see the LED is off continuity circuit has now reset. You can control anything you want on this side. 12 volts, 120, 240. Just make sure it's isolated enough from the rest of the circuit that you're just that you're not too close with the high voltage contacts to the 5 volt side of the circuit. Now if you're going to run the circuit on a 5 volt regulated supply then you're not going to need the 7805. But if you'd like to run it on 9, 12, 15, keep that in the circuit. This circuit could be placed inside a regular 120 volt wall switch. And what you would do is you'd have a, a small potentiometer, like a black knob, that would stick out of the cover plate on the switch. And you'd have just these two sensors exposed with the knob. So you could wave your hand and have it trigger for the duration you set. The only light that I've seen that false triggers this is compact fluorescent lights and they're notorious for being very noisy lamps. So try and keep your CFLs far from the circuit when you're using it. The link will be in the description box. Give it a shot.